in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. They were supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. After all that training for three months, they still don't know how to check time correctly. Hmm? Finally you got here. It took you long enough. You know, training with you has been hard. But making sure you know what time they're supposed to be here is harder. Apparently to you, you don't know how to tell time. Or time gets away from you. I'll lecture you about it later. Sit down. Besides your incompetence of telling time, you've been doing quite a good job, actually. Within these last three to four months, you've been training quite hard to learn about curse energy and also just basic jujitsu. You show very good potential, and I am here to say that I'm proud of you and your friend. Your friend, T Toby, right? That's his name? In just three months, Toby has developed a technique to imbue his curse energy into his axe. It's not a hard technique, but it's also very good as well. And with you, your curse technique is also unique in its own ways. And also, you learned how to use reverse curse technique within those three months. Even I didn't know how to do that. So you can say that I'm impressed. <clears throat> On another hand, a lot more murders have been going around. Along with this little group that your friend is uh, associated with. Now, I didn't trust him at first, but he seems good enough not to do anything behind our backs. That doesn't mean you get a break. That means you get to train harder now. And also, I'm going to be teaching you about a new move. This move is called the Black Flash. But I'm going to teach you this whole new move. 
a day from now. So you better prepare yourself because that training day is going to be one of the harder ones. <laughs> it's going to be the hardest day you ever trained in your life. And hopefully your friend Toby can learn it quickly too. So, I have another question for you. Why did you let that boy live with you? There's got to be a reason for it. It's either you see something in him or you like him. Which one is it? I understand. Young people like you, always trying to get into their feelings, and trying to find someone that they can share their feelings with. I know about this very well. But you also have to focus on yourself, and make sure that you're doing your own thing in the right ways. Otherwise, you could get blinded by your own main mission, because you're always so focused on your side missions. Am I making sense to you? Good. On top of that, me and Gojo have been doing some parole. Mm-hmm. We've been looking around the city and also been stopping these uh, little goons for that gang that's been walking around the city and killing people and putting that symbol everywhere. But we're not doing it fast enough. There's already been another ten murders as of recently that coexist within these dumb little symbols. That's why I need to teach you this technique quickly. So you'd be able to protect yourself from any cursed spirits or any idiots that try to step to you and try to take you down. The beginning of your current mission starts very soon. That's why I need to make sure that you're ready. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, I mostly called you here because, well, I wanted to congratulate you for all the hard work that you've been doing, and also proving me wrong within your skills. Although I don't like being proven wrong, I can see where I am wrong, and I can see potential. So, I just want to say you're doing a great job. No, both of you. Both of you are doing a good job. Even if Toby's not here for me to actually say it to his face, you can send down the message to him. Tell him this. Even though he's been a bad person within his past, that doesn't affect his future. He can change his own future no matter what, even if his past tells him differently. He is a strong man, and he's also a strong sorcerer, even if he just started just a few months ago. He will do great things for the Sorcerer Society. We just need to keep leading him down the right path. Mm-hmm. But that's all I really called you here for. So, you can get going now. That's all I... What was that? It's coming from over there. Quickly! Maybe it's a person getting hurt by a cursed spirit. We don't have time. Come on! Huh. 
What the? There's so many of them. In broad daylight. Stand back! There's too many of them. Go! I'll hold them off. You're too weak to handle all this by yourself, even if I am here. Get going! Go! I wouldn't think Cursed Spirit would attack in mid-daylight. Light. Attacking innocent people. Are they trying to send a message? Who are they working for? What are they working for? It doesn't matter. I'll kill every single one of them myself. They're moving too fast. I can't. are you? Who do you work for? You have no need to know of my name. Damn it, you cursed spirit. Talk! Uh, my master said I can kill anyone who's in my way. <sighs> so you. It doesn't matter. I will let you live. Not for another second. That's where you're wrong, sorcerer. Huh? <laughs> that should hold you for a while. Now, where did your friend go? <laughs> <laughs>